Picture this, you're sitting in a bustling coffee shop, trying to finish a project when a colleague approaches, desperately needing help with their own work. Despite your looming deadline, you find yourself agreeing to assist. Later, when you reflect on your day, you're left wondering if your kindness is leading you to sacrifice your own priorities. We've all been there, caught in the trap of being overly nice, stretching ourselves too thin to please others. But what if I told you there's a different path, one that doesn't involve giving up your own needs? Enter Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor known not just for his leadership, but also for his profound Stoic philosophy. His teachings offer a blueprint for maintaining kindness without losing oneself in the process. In this video, we'll delve into his timeless wisdom, discovering how to balance generosity with self-respect, ensuring you can be kind without compromise. Stick around because the insights we're about to uncover might just transform the way you approach relationships and personal boundaries. Understanding Stoicism, we find it's a powerful philosophy dating back to ancient Greece and Rome, with Marcus Aurelius as one of its most notable advocates. At its core, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control and let go of what we cannot. This simple yet profound understanding helps us navigate life's challenges with more ease. Stoics believe that while we cannot control outside events, we can control our reactions, thus fostering emotional resilience. Imagine being in a situation where everything seems to go wrong. Instead of spiraling into stress, Stoicism encourages us to pause, assess our control over the situation, and adjust our mindset accordingly. It isn't about suppressing emotions, but rather understanding and mastering them. The practical wisdom of Stoicism lies in its ability to guide personal growth. It encourages us to reflect on our thoughts and behaviors regularly, allowing us to learn and improve continually. Through self-awareness and reflection, we become more grounded and better equipped to handle life's ups and downs. Stoicism is about living with intention, aligning actions with our core values, and finding peace amidst the chaos. Its teachings serve as a powerful toolset, providing clarity and strength in our daily lives. With these principles, we can build a strong foundation of emotional resilience, ensuring that we remain true to ourselves even in the most difficult times. As we continue, let's explore who Marcus Aurelius was and how his life and writings have left an indelible mark on the world of Stoic philosophy. Marcus Aurelius is often remembered as a wise ruler who led with a sense of duty and integrity. Born on April 26th in 121 in Rome, Marcus was groomed for leadership from a young age. He ascended to the role of Roman Emperor in 161, during a time of considerable military conflict and political turbulence. Despite the power and responsibilities that came with being an Emperor, Marcus Aurelius remained humble, dedicating himself to the betterment of his people and the Empire. What sets Marcus apart is not only his political accomplishments, but also his philosophical insights. He is most famous for his personal writings, known as Meditations, which were never intended for publication. In these reflections, Marcus delves into Stoic principles, emphasizing the importance of self-control, virtue, and rational thinking. Through his works, he shares guidance on living a life of purpose and clarity advocating for inner strength and resilience in the face of life's challenges. His writings encourage us to focus on what truly matters, to live in harmony with nature, and to maintain a steadfast commitment to our values. Marcus Aurelius's legacy extends beyond his reign. His philosophical contributions continue to inspire individuals seeking wisdom and balance in their lives. His life serves as a powerful testament to the enduring relevance of Stoicism, offering timeless lessons on leadership and personal integrity. As we reflect on his teachings, we find a rich source of inspiration to cultivate our own paths of growth and self-discovery. Now, let's delve into the principle of kindness and how Marcus Aurelius reminds us to balance generosity with self-respect. The balance of kindness is a crucial element in Stoic philosophy, 
a reminder that while kindness is a virtue, it must be carefully measured to ensure it does not override one's own values and well-being. The Stoics believed that being truly kind is not about sacrificing yourself for others, but rather about offering genuine compassion without compromising your principles. Imagine it as a scale on one side, the desire to be kind and helpful, and on the other, the need to stand firm in your own beliefs and needs. Achieving balance means ensuring that neither side outweighs the other. Marcus Aurelius emphasized this balance in his teachings, urging us to remain mindful of our own boundaries. He believed that maintaining respect for oneself is just as important as respecting others. When we give too much, we risk losing sight of our personal values, and that is where the trouble begins. Stoicism teaches us that it is possible to be generous and caring without abandoning ourselves. This balance requires assertiveness, the courage to say no when necessary, and the wisdom to discern when to step back. By prioritizing personal integrity and well-being, we can practice kindness that is sustainable and authentic. In summary, the Stoic path is about nurturing others while also nurturing oneself, ensuring that our kindness does not lead to self-neglect. As we continue our journey through Marcus Aurelius's wisdom, let's explore common misconceptions about being nice and how we can redefine kindness in a way that honors both others and ourselves. Misconceptions about being nice often stem from the belief that niceness equates to constant agreement, endless accommodation, and self-sacrifice. Many of us grow up thinking that to be liked, to be a good person, we must never say no, never disappoint others, and always put others' needs ahead of our own. Yet, Marcus Aurelius's teachings challenge this notion by drawing a clear line between genuine kindness and mere people-pleasing behaviors. True kindness is rooted in authenticity and integrity. It's about offering help and support because it aligns with our values and because we genuinely want to contribute, not because we feel obliged to meet others' expectations or gain their approval. People-pleasing, on the other hand, often disguises itself as kindness, but it is driven by a fear of rejection or conflict, leading us to compromise our own needs and priorities. This behavior can erode self-respect and foster resentment over time. According to Stoicism, if our actions are not in harmony with our core values, they are not truly kind. Marcus Aurelius advocates for understanding our motives, encouraging self-reflection to ensure that our kindness is sincere and not a facade. By cultivating kindness that respects both ourselves and others, we create healthier, more balanced relationships this involves setting boundaries and understanding that it's okay to say no. In doing so, we honor our own needs while still being genuinely compassionate to those around us. Let's explore how Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the importance of self-respect and how it plays a pivotal role in practicing true kindness without losing oneself in the process. Marcus Aurelius on self-respect serves as a vital cornerstone in understanding Stoic philosophy. He champions the belief that true self-respect comes from standing firm in one's beliefs and principles. One of Marcus's core teachings is that we must not be swayed by external opinions or pressure from others. Instead, we need to cultivate an inner strength that is rooted deeply in our own values. Consider this, it is easy to feel validated by others' approval, but Marcus urges us to look beyond fleeting external validation and to find confidence in our own judgment and choices. This means taking the time to reflect on what is truly important to us and ensuring that our actions align with those values. For example, if honesty is one of your core principles, Self-respect involves remaining truthful even when it is inconvenient or unpopular. Standing firm in your beliefs also means having the courage to voice your thoughts and make decisions that reflect your true self, instead of simply conforming to the expectations of others. By maintaining self-respect, we protect our integrity and individuality, which in turn fosters genuine, meaningful connections with those around us. 
Marcus Aurelius believed that when we respect ourselves, we set a standard for how others should treat us. It is about living authentically with the understanding that embracing who we are can bring about a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. In practicing self-respect, we not only honor our own needs, but we also navigate life's challenges with greater resilience and clarity. As we continue exploring Marcus's philosophy, let's delve into the art of setting healthy boundaries, another essential aspect of nurturing both self-respect and authentic kindness. Setting boundaries is an essential skill for nurturing self-respect and ensuring that kindness does not lead to self-sacrifice. Marcus Aurelius, in his teachings, reminds us that healthy boundaries are crucial for maintaining balance and integrity. He advises to be tolerant with others and strict with yourself, emphasizing the importance of knowing one's limits and adhering to personal standards while understanding the perspectives of others. This doesn't mean being inflexible, but rather having clarity on what we can and cannot accept. Imagine boundaries as a protective barrier that guards our emotional and mental space, allowing us to give generously without exhaustion. Stoicism offers us practical wisdom on setting these boundaries by encouraging self-awareness and reflection. It urges us to continually evaluate our interactions and recognize when we feel uncomfortable or depleted. When we identify these moments, it is a sign that boundaries are necessary. But setting boundaries is more than just saying no. It's about communicating our needs respectfully and asserting our right to prioritize our well-being. Marcus Aurelius inspires us to act with both compassion and firmness, ensuring our actions reflect our true selves. By embodying this philosophy, we create an environment where our kindness is sustainable and genuine. Boundaries, when set thoughtfully, empower us to engage with the world without losing our sense of self. They allow us to build relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. As we honor these personal limits, we discover the freedom to be authentically kind and generous, nurturing both ourselves and those around us. As we move forward, let's explore how Stoicism teaches us to build emotional resilience, another cornerstone of living a balanced life. Emotional resilience is a vital component of Stoic philosophy, equipping us to remain composed and steadfast even amidst life's most daunting challenges. Stoicism teaches that while we cannot control external events, we have full control over our internal responses. This perspective fosters inner strength, allowing us to face adversity with a calm and balanced mindset. Imagine facing a sudden upheaval, like losing a job or dealing with an unexpected conflict. Instead of succumbing to anxiety or despair, Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can do constructively. It is about shifting our mindset from victimhood to agency. Marcus Aurelius himself wrote extensively about the power of perspective, reminding us that the mind adapts and transforms each obstacle into an opportunity for growth. This is not about denying emotions, but about acknowledging them without letting them control us. By practicing mindfulness and self-reflection, we can better navigate our emotional landscapes, maintaining clarity and purpose. For instance, if anger arises in a tense situation, Stoicism guides us to pause, reflect on the root cause, and choose a measured response that aligns with our values. This process of self-regulation strengthens resilience, enabling us to respond with wisdom and integrity rather than reactivity. By cultivating this mindset, we build an unshakable foundation of inner peace that carries us through life's ups and downs. As we embrace stoic principles, we discover the empowering freedom that comes with emotional resilience, helping us live more fulfilling and balanced lives. Let's now turn to Marcus Aurelius's teachings on integrity, exploring how staying true to our principles profoundly influences our interactions with others. Marcus's teachings on integrity underscore the vital role that remaining true to our principles plays in shaping meaningful and respectful relationships. For Marcus Aurelius, integrity isn't merely about honesty or being consistent in our actions. It is the foundation upon which trust and respect are built. 
He believed that living with integrity involves aligning our actions with our deepest values, even when no one is watching. This can profoundly influence the way we interact with others, fostering genuine connections based on mutual respect and understanding. Picture a scenario where you're presented with an opportunity to take credit for someone else's work. While the immediate gain might be tempting, Marcus reminds us that the true value lies in maintaining honesty and fairness, preserving self-respect, and earning the trust of those around us. By wielding integrity as our guiding compass, we cultivate relationships that are not only authentic but also enduring. This approach encourages an environment where open communication and mutual respect thrive, allowing us to engage with others in a manner that reflects our true selves. Marcus's insights remind us that while situations may change, our commitment to integrity remains a steadfast anchor, guiding us to interact with others in ways that honor both our values and theirs. As we practice living with integrity, we not only enhance the quality of our relationships, but also inspire those around us to uphold the same standards. In doing so, we contribute to a world where authenticity and trust are at the heart of our interactions, creating a ripple effect of positive influence. Let's now explore practical steps on how to be assertive without aggression, drawing inspiration from Stoic teachings, Practicing assertiveness without crossing the line into aggression is a skill that Stoicism can richly enhance. Assertiveness is about confidently expressing your needs and boundaries while maintaining respect for others. Imagine it as standing like a firmly rooted tree, solid and unwavering, yet not forceful. To practice this, begin with clarity of purpose. Know your values and what you're aiming to achieve. This internal compass helps you communicate with confidence and calmness. Next, focus on using I statements in conversations. For example, instead of saying, you never listen to me, try, I feel unheard when our conversations are interrupted. This shifts the focus from accusation to expression of personal feelings, paving the way for understanding and dialogue. Listen actively and acknowledge others' perspectives. It's vital to recognize that assertiveness is a two-way street and involves both speaking and listening. By showing empathy, you foster a collaborative environment. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the power of rational thought over emotional reactions, which is crucial in maintaining composure. When tensions rise, take a stoic pause, allow yourself a moment to breathe and gather your thoughts before responding. This pause is not a sign of weakness, but a testament to your control and awareness. Practicing assertiveness is also about consistency. Stay true to your word and follow through on your commitments. By doing so, you build trust and reliability in your interactions. Remember that assertiveness is not about winning every argument or pushing others aside. It's about standing firmly in your truth while honoring the dignity of others. As you embrace these practices, you'll discover that assertiveness rooted in Stoic principles leads to more meaningful and respectful relationships grounded in authenticity and mutual respect. Now, let's explore the role of wisdom in Stoicism and how it guides us in choosing when to be compassionate and when to hold firm. The role of wisdom in Stoicism is central to navigating the delicate balance between compassion and firmness. Stoic wisdom is not merely the accumulation of knowledge, but the understanding of how to apply it in real-life situations. It guides us in discerning the needs of the moment, allowing us to act with both heart and reason. Imagine wisdom as a compass that directs us towards the right path. When it comes to compassion, wisdom encourages us to assess the situation and the individuals involved. It asks us to look beyond the surface and understand the true needs of others, inspiring us to extend help when it is genuinely beneficial and aligned with our values. Suppose a friend is struggling with a challenge that they can overcome with a little encouragement. Wisdom urges us to offer support with gentle guidance, helping them find their own strength without taking over. On the other hand, wisdom also trains us to recognize when holding firm is the necessary course of action. 
There are times when saying no or setting a boundary protects not only our well-being but also the dignity and independence of others. Consider a scenario where someone repeatedly seeks your assistance but never takes steps towards self-reliance. Wisdom teaches us that true compassion sometimes involves allowing others to face the consequences of their actions, fostering growth and responsibility. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the importance of aligning our actions with our core values, using wisdom to judge when to offer a hand and when to encourage self-sufficiency. This discernment allows us to act in ways that nurture both ourselves and those we care about, ensuring that our kindness is grounded in strength and clarity. By cultivating stoic wisdom, we develop the ability to navigate life's complexities with poise, ensuring that our actions are both kind and resolute. As we continue to explore stoic principles, let's delve into the importance of authenticity in Marcus Aurelius's teachings and how being true to oneself surpasses superficial niceness. Marcus Aurelius on authenticity reminds us that being true to oneself is the bedrock of genuine interactions and personal fulfillment. Authenticity requires embracing who we truly are rather than conforming to the expectations of others. In a world often focused on appearances and superficial niceness, Marcus Aurelius's teachings encourage us to delve deeper into our true selves, valuing honesty and integrity over hollow pleasantries. Imagine authenticity as a clear, undisturbed pond where the reflection is true and unwavering. This clarity allows us to engage with others in a way that is honest and sincere. When we shift the focus from seeking approval to aligning with our inner values, we open the door to deeper, more meaningful connections. Authenticity involves self-awareness. It calls us to examine our motives and actions, ensuring they align with what truly matters to us. By being authentic, we create the freedom to express our genuine thoughts and emotions, fostering trust and respect in our relationships. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that authenticity transcends mere niceness, which often stems from a desire to avoid conflict or gain acceptance. While niceness might bring temporary ease, it lacks the depth and strength of authenticity. When faced with challenges, authenticity equips us to respond honestly and constructively, rather than conforming to what others might want to hear. This approach does not mean disregarding kindness, but rather infusing it with sincerity and integrity. By embodying authenticity, we honor our individuality while also respecting others, building a foundation of relationships that are not only pleasant but deeply real. As we integrate these teachings into our daily lives, we unlock the potential for personal growth and fulfillment, guided by the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Continuing our exploration of Stoicism, let's now delve into how developing inner strength can help us withstand societal pressures to conform to niceness. Developing inner strength is essential for resisting the societal pressures that often compel us to conform to superficial niceness. In a world where kindness is sometimes mistaken for weakness, building mental strength enables us to uphold our values without bending to every demand for approval or acceptance. Marcus Aurelius teaches us that true strength does not come from external validation but from a deep-rooted understanding of our own values and the courage to stand by them. Imagine mental strength as a sturdy tree with roots deeply embedded in the earth, unwavering in the face of the strongest winds. This inner fortitude allows us to maintain our integrity, even when societal norms push us toward compliance. One way to nurture this strength is through reflection and self-examination. By regularly assessing our thoughts and actions against our core beliefs, we reinforce our capacity for self-direction. Journaling, a practice embraced by Marcus Aurelius himself, can serve as a powerful tool for this introspection. Writing out our thoughts and challenges helps clarify our priorities and solidify our resolve to act in alignment with our true selves. Additionally, cultivating a mindset of growth and resilience plays a significant role in strengthening our mental fortitude. 
Embracing challenges as opportunities for learning rather than threats to our identity keeps us adaptive and prepared. When criticism or societal expectations attempt to sway us, viewing them through a lens of growth allows us to choose responses that reflect our inner strength. Furthermore, surrounding ourselves with a supportive community that respects and encourages our authenticity provides a critical buffer against external pressures. Just as a forest of trees stands stronger together, so do we benefit from relationships rooted in mutual respect and acceptance. In times of doubt, drawing on the wisdom of Stoic teachings can offer guidance and reassurance, reminding us of the enduring value of true kindness over mere niceness. By fostering inner strength, we empower ourselves to live in accordance with our deepest values, resisting the superficial trappings of societal expectations and embracing a life of authenticity and purpose. As we continue, let's explore how to identify and overcome people-pleasing tendencies, allowing us to live with greater clarity and self-assurance. Overcoming people-pleasing tendencies begins with recognizing this habit in ourselves. Often, these tendencies stem from a deep-seated desire for acceptance and belonging, leading us to prioritize others' needs over our own. The first practical step is self-awareness. Pay attention to situations where you find yourself automatically agreeing or accommodating, even when it conflicts with your preferences or values. Notice the emotions that arise, perhaps anxiety, fear of disapproval, or a sense of guilt. These feelings can be strong indicators that you're slipping into people-pleasing mode. Once identified, reflect on the underlying beliefs driving these actions. Ask yourself, am I seeking validation from others? Do I fear rejection if I assert my needs? Acknowledging these fears is crucial in redefining your motivations. The next step involves setting clear personal boundaries. Start small by practicing saying no in low-stake situations. For example, if you're invited to an event you have no interest in, politely decline. Use I statements to express your needs respectfully. I appreciate the invitation, but I need some personal time to recharge. This reinforces your autonomy while maintaining respect for others. Additionally, consider the power of self-reflection through journaling. Marcus Aurelius extolled the virtues of introspection, and writing down your challenges and triumphs can help solidify your progress. Note instances where you successfully asserted yourself and the positive outcomes that followed. This practice not only boosts confidence, but also serves as a reminder of your commitment to personal growth. Embrace the idea that it is impossible to please everyone. Remember, valuing your own needs is not selfish, rather, it is an act of self-respect and authenticity. Surround yourself with individuals who respect your assertiveness and encourage your journey towards self-assured living. By adopting these strategies, you can gradually shift away from people-pleasing, cultivating a life that is true to your values and aspirations. As we continue, let's explore Marcus Aurelius's advice on handling criticism gracefully and constructively, another key aspect of living with integrity and confidence. Marcus's advice on handling criticism gracefully and constructively is deeply rooted in his Stoic philosophy, emphasizing introspection and emotional balance. Imagine criticism as a mirror, reflecting not just the opinions of others, but also offering a unique opportunity for self-improvement. Marcus Aurelius teaches us to accept criticism with an open mind, recognizing the potential lessons it holds while maintaining our inner calm. He advises us to separate our ego from the feedback we receive and to focus on the rationality behind any critique. When faced with criticism, take a moment to pause and reflect. Ask yourself whether there is any truth to the feedback, and if so, how it can be used to enhance your growth. This reflection turns criticism into a tool for self-awareness, promoting humility and continuous improvement. Marcus encourages us to evaluate the source of the criticism as well. Is it coming from someone whose opinion you value or someone genuinely interested in your welfare? If so, their feedback might warrant further consideration. 
If not, it may be less relevant to your journey. However, regardless of its source, criticism should never deter you from your path if your actions are aligned with your core values. Maintaining composure in the face of criticism is a hallmark of Stoic practice. By keeping our emotions in check and responding with reason, we demonstrate both self-respect and respect for the critic, even if we ultimately disagree with their perspective. Remember, not all criticism is constructive, and it's essential to discern which feedback is useful and which is not. By approaching criticism as Marcus Aurelius suggests, with grace, introspection, and rationality, we can emerge stronger and more resilient, using each piece of feedback as a stepping stone towards personal excellence. As we continue, let's explore the importance of self-care in maintaining both our mental and physical health, guided by the timeless insights of Stoic philosophy. The importance of self-care holds a significant place in Stoic philosophy, reminding us that attending to our well-being is not only essential but also a responsibility we owe to ourselves and those around us. Stoicism teaches that our mind and body are closely interconnected, and maintaining their health is crucial for living a balanced, fulfilled life. Let's consider the Stoic perspective on self-care as tending to a garden. Just as a gardener nurtures their plants to flourish, we must nourish our body and mind to achieve our potential. This means actively caring for our physical health through nutritious food, ample rest, and regular exercise, which fortifies our resilience and mental clarity. Marcus Aurelius emphasized the balance between our duties to others and ourselves. He advocated for moments of solitude and reflection, allowing us to recharge and align with our inner values. These quiet moments offer the space to evaluate our priorities, ensuring that our actions resonate with our core beliefs. In practice, self-care involves setting aside time for activities that rejuvenate the soul, whether it be through meditation, reading, or enjoying nature. The Stoics believed that by maintaining our own well-being, we become more capable in our roles and relationships, contributing positively to the world around us. A key aspect of self-care is understanding that it is not selfish but a vital component of living virtuously and authentically. By embracing self-care, we cultivate the strength to face life's demands with grace and composure. As we integrate these practices into our daily lives, we create a foundation of health and well-being, empowering us to live with purpose and vitality. With self-care as our ally, we align more closely with Stoic wisdom, nurturing a life that is both balanced and meaningful. Let's now explore Marcus Aurelius's teachings on empathy, examining how to practice compassion without losing oneself in the process. Marcus Aurelius on Empathy emphasizes the delicate balance of practicing genuine compassion while safeguarding one's sense of self. Empathy, according to Marcus, involves truly understanding and sharing in others' feelings without being overwhelmed or losing our own identity. Imagine empathy as a bridge connecting two people, allowing for mutual understanding and support, yet without one person's emotions consuming the other. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to approach empathy with a sense of calm detachment, recognizing others' struggles while maintaining our emotional boundaries. This means listening attentively and responding with care, but also discerning how deeply to involve ourselves in another's emotional landscape. By practicing empathy with a foundation of stoic wisdom, we can offer support without becoming emotionally enmeshed. A practical approach could involve reflecting on how we feel after engaging empathetically with someone. If we notice that our emotional equilibrium is disturbed, it might be a sign to reassess how we engage and where our limits should lie. Marcus Aurelius's teachings remind us that empathy does not mean taking on the weight of others' burdens, but rather offering understanding and support while encouraging their resilience and autonomy. In this way, empathy becomes a tool for connection that enriches relationships without draining our energy or compromising our own well-being. By embodying this balanced approach to empathy, we nurture relationships that are both compassionate and sustainable, 
ensuring that both ourselves and those we care for can grow and thrive. As we continue to explore the insights of Marcus Aurelius, let's delve into how he urges us to prioritize personal values and live with purpose, forging a path that is both meaningful and fulfilling. Prioritizing personal values is a central theme in Marcus Aurelius's teachings, encouraging us to lead a life filled with purpose and integrity. At the heart of Stoicism is the belief that living according to our values is the true measure of contentment and fulfillment. Marcus Aurelius urges us to reflect deeply on what truly matters to us our core principles and convictions and to align our actions with these beliefs. Imagine personal values as the compass guiding our life's journey, providing direction and clarity amidst the noise and confusion of the world. By prioritizing these values, we create a framework for decision-making that is both meaningful and consistent with our true selves. For instance, if honesty and compassion are among your core values, Marcus instructs us to ensure that our daily actions consistently reflect honesty in communication and genuine care for others. This alignment between belief and action fosters a sense of authenticity and purpose in our lives. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that by living in accordance with our values, we not only nurture our own well-being but also positively influence the world around us. This commitment to our values acts as a stabilizing force, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with confidence and grace. It is crucial, Marcus teaches, to periodically revisit and reassess our values, ensuring they evolve as we grow and learn. This ongoing reflection helps us maintain a purposeful path and adapt to life's changes while staying true to our essence. By elevating our personal values to the forefront of our lives, we cultivate a deep sense of fulfillment and joy, living authentically and harmoniously with the teachings of Marcus Aurelius. Let's explore specific Stoic techniques for maintaining balance as we continue on this inspiring journey toward a life of purpose. Stoic techniques for maintaining balance center around the practice of mindfulness, reflection, and resilience in the face of external expectations. One foundational technique is the practice of negative visualization, where we imagine potential challenges or losses to prepare ourselves emotionally. This might sound counterintuitive, but Marcus Aurelius advocated for this as a way to appreciate what we have and to strengthen our resilience. By anticipating difficulties, we arm ourselves with the perspective needed to handle them calmly when they arise. Next, Marcus urged us to keep a journal of our thoughts and reflections. This daily practice allows us to process and evaluate our experiences, fostering clarity and self-awareness. Through consistent journaling, we can identify any external pressures that may be influencing us away from our core values and realign ourselves accordingly. Another powerful technique is the dichotomy of control, a concept that teaches us to distinguish between what is within our control and what is not. By focusing our energy and attention on the former, we conserve our mental resources and maintain our emotional equilibrium. This simple yet profound understanding helps us navigate life's demands with greater ease and composure. Marcus Aurelius also recommended regular self-examination, asking ourselves whether our actions and decisions truly reflect our values and priorities. This ongoing practice of introspection helps us maintain a balanced perspective and avoid being swayed by fleeting external influences or societal pressures. By applying these stoic techniques, we learn to remain centered amidst the chaos, enhancing our ability to live a balanced, purposeful life. As we continue, let's explore the stoic approach to learning from mistakes and using them as a source of personal growth. Learning from mistakes is a fundamental aspect of the stoic philosophy, with Marcus Aurelius advocating for the transformative power of self-reflection and growth. Stoicism teaches us that mistakes are not merely failures but valuable lessons that guide us toward personal development and self-improvement. Imagine each mistake as a stepping stone, a crucial part of the path leading to greater wisdom and resilience. Marcus Aurelius encourages us to view mistakes with a sense of curiosity and openness, 
analyzing our actions without harsh self-judgment. This perspective allows us to extract insights from our experiences and apply them constructively to future endeavors. One practical approach involves pausing to reflect on the event in question, examining the factors that led to the mistake. Ask yourself what you can learn from the situation and how it might inform better choices moving forward. This process transforms errors into opportunities for growth and understanding. Marcus stresses the importance of forgiving ourselves, recognizing that mistakes are an inherent part of the human experience. By embracing our imperfections and focusing on continuous improvement, we cultivate a mindset of resilience and adaptability. He reminds us that living in harmony with nature includes accepting that mistakes are inevitable and necessary for progress. Similarly, he places emphasis on the power of detachment, advocating for an objective viewpoint that separates our self-worth from our missteps. This detachment enables us to approach mistakes with clarity, extracting the knowledge they offer without letting them define our sense of self. By adopting this stoic approach, we harness the potential of every error, transforming challenges into stepping stones on the journey of self-discovery and growth. As we continue, let's explore Marcus Aurelius's view on living in harmony with nature and its profound relation to authenticity. Marcus on living in accordance with nature is central to understanding his teachings on authenticity and fulfillment. For Marcus Aurelius, living in harmony with nature involves aligning our actions and thoughts with the natural order of the world and our own rational nature. Imagine nature as a vast river flowing with a purpose and rhythm. To live authentically, Marcus advises us to flow with this river rather than against it, embracing the natural cycles and changes that life presents. This concept is not just about environmental awareness, but also about recognizing and honoring our intrinsic nature as rational beings. It invites us to act according to reason and virtue, which are inherent to our human nature. Marcus believed that when we live authentically, we bring our actions into alignment with this internal compass, creating harmony between our inner world and the external environment. Authenticity in this context means shedding the facades and societal expectations that may lead us astray. It involves listening to our inner wisdom and making choices that resonate with our true values and instincts. By living according to nature, we cultivate a genuine sense of self that is not swayed by external pressures. This authenticity empowers us to engage with the world transparently and confidently, fostering relationships and experiences that are deeply rooted in truth and integrity. Marcus Aurelius teaches that such harmony with nature allows us to experience a profound sense of peace and purpose, guiding us to live a life that is not only true to ourselves, but also in sync with the greater universe. As we explore Stoic principles further, let's delve into the importance of detaching from external validation to cultivate a more authentic and fulfilling life. Detaching from external validation is a profound lesson that Stoicism imparts, emphasizing the pursuit of self-worth from within rather than through the eyes of others. Marcus Aurelius teaches that the opinions of others are fleeting and beyond our control, urging us to cultivate an inner compass that guides our actions and self-perception. Imagine external validation as a mirage that shifts and changes, offering only temporary satisfaction. By contrast, Stoicism encourages us to anchor our sense of self in our values and virtues, which remain steadfast amidst life's fluctuations. One practical method to avoid dependency on external approval is through self-reflection. Regular introspection allows us to evaluate our motives and actions, ensuring they align with our inner principles rather than external expectations. Journaling, as advocated by Marcus, serves as a powerful tool for this practice, helping us clarify our priorities and reinforce our self-awareness. Another effective technique is practicing gratitude for personal accomplishments, regardless of external acknowledgement. Focusing on our progress and the qualities we admire within ourselves builds a resilient self-esteem that is less susceptible to outside influence. 
Acknowledge small victories and remind yourself of your intrinsic worth, independent of others' views. Marcus Aurelius also highlights the importance of surrounding ourselves with individuals who share our values and support our journey towards authenticity. Building a community that encourages self-expression and mutual respect can provide a supportive environment for letting go of external validation. Additionally, embrace the idea of doing good for its own sake rather than seeking recognition. Acts of kindness and integrity, when performed authentically, reinforce our self-confidence and remind us of the internal satisfaction that comes from living in accordance with our values. By integrating these stoic principles into our lives, we cultivate a deep sense of inner contentment and resilience, freeing ourselves from the need for external validation. As we continue, let's explore stoic meditation practices that nurture mindfulness and inner peace in our daily lives. Stoic meditation practices recommended by Stoics like Marcus Aurelius offer valuable insights into cultivating mindfulness and inner peace. These practices differ from traditional meditation, often focusing more on reflection and mental clarity rather than just quietness. One foundational practice is the morning reflection, where you start your day by contemplating the day ahead. Imagine it as a mental rehearsal, preparing yourself for potential challenges while setting intentions rooted in your values. This exercise helps align your actions and thoughts with your core beliefs, promoting a purposeful and mindful approach to the day. Another key practice is the evening review, where you reflect on the day's events, assessing your actions and responses. Marcus Aurelius himself engaged in this practice, often reflecting in his journal. It's like looking in a mirror, analyzing where you stayed true to your principles and where there's room for improvement. This process fosters self-awareness and continuous growth. The Stoics also advocate for negative visualization, imagining potential adversities to build resilience and appreciation for the present. By mentally preparing for setbacks, you're better equipped to handle them with calmness and clarity when they arise, reducing the impact of surprise and stress. Mindful breathing is another simple yet effective practice, focusing on deep, deliberate breaths to anchor yourself in the present moment. This technique helps calm the mind and body, offering clarity and tranquility amidst daily chaos. Through these stoic meditation practices, we can find a lasting inner peace, rooted in mindfulness and a deeper understanding of ourselves and the world around us. As we further explore stoic wisdom, let's reflect on the enduring legacy of Marcus Aurelius and how his teachings continue to offer guidance in our modern lives. Marcus Aurelius's legacy is a testament to the timelessness and universality of his Stoic wisdom, offering guidance that transcends the centuries. His personal writings, particularly meditations, stand as a pillar of practical philosophy, providing insights that resonate as deeply now as they did in ancient times. Marcus's teachings encourage us to cultivate resilience, integrity, and self-awareness, principles that form the bedrock of a purposeful life. Imagine his teachings as a trusted friend in a world that constantly shifts and changes, giving us tools to navigate life's complexities with grace and clarity. The relevance of his insights is evident in our modern world, where the challenges of maintaining balance, authenticity, and emotional stability are more pressing than ever. In an age marked by rapid technological advances and constant connectivity, Marcus Aurelius's emphasis on mindfulness and perspective offers a much-needed anchor. His encouragement to focus on what is within our control and let go of what is not helps us manage stress and anxiety, fostering a sense of peace amidst the noise. Furthermore, his insistence on living in accordance with nature invites us to reflect on our impact on the world, urging a return to genuine, harmonious living. By embodying Marcus's stoic principles, we empower ourselves to act with integrity and purpose, fostering a life of depth and fulfillment. Today, his legacy lives on through those who draw strength and guidance from his words, using them as a compass to navigate both personal and communal challenges. 
As we embrace the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, we find ourselves inspired to live with greater intention and mindfulness, crafting lives that are not only kind but also truly aligned with our innermost values. In summary, the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius provides a profound framework for living a life of balance, authenticity, and purpose. We've explored how stoic principles like self-respect, emotional resilience, and prioritizing personal values can help us navigate the complexities of modern life. These teachings guide us in cultivating meaningful relationships, setting healthy boundaries, and maintaining integrity amidst societal pressures. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that kindness rooted in authenticity and wisdom leads to true fulfillment. As you move forward, consider how these timeless insights can be woven into the fabric of your life, helping you stay grounded and aligned with your core beliefs. We invite you to share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below. How are you incorporating these stoic principles into your daily life? Don't forget to subscribe for more philosophical insights and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the profound teachings of Marcus Aurelius.